At first glance, it might seem like any other official meeting of leaders. You got the handshake, the photo opportunities, a ceremonial tree planting, oh, and even a cake. But this meeting had people in Korea and all over the world really excited. It is amazing. Kim Jong-un and President Moon Jae-in don't seem like enemies. They seem like friends as they shake hands in such a friendly way. This was the first time these South Korean kids had ever seen their president shake hands with the leader of North Korea. For all of their lives and all of their parents' lives, the countries have been enemies. You see, this whole area used to be known as Korea. But after the Second World War, the country was split in two. The US took control of the South and the USSR, which included what we now know as Russia, took the North. They had some very different ideas about how the country should be run. And in 1950, North Korean soldiers invaded the South and the Korean War began. It lasted for three years and involved several other countries, including Australia. In 1953, the two sides signed something called an armistice, which was an agreement to stop the fighting. But the war never officially ended. A lot of North Korean people were kept apart from their families in the South, and they weren't allowed the same freedoms. In the past few years, North Korea has made some big threats against its neighbours. It's tested nuclear weapons and threatened to use them. The situation had people right around the world really worried. But now, things are starting to look a lot friendlier. Earlier this year, a secure phone line was reopened so North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, could talk with South Korea's President, Moon Jae-in. And the two nations marched together under a united flag at the Winter Olympics, then competed with a joint ice hockey team. Then came last week's meeting, which was the first time an acting North Korean leader had stepped onto South Korean soil since the war. Many are hoping the meeting could bring an end to one of the world's longest-running conflicts. With both leaders saying they're working towards a peace treaty, that could end the Korean War for good. Many leaders, including Moon Jae-in, say US President Donald Trump had a hand in bringing the two countries together. He's planning to be the first US president to meet with Kim Jong-un later this month. There's still a long way to go before the North and South can work out all their differences, but many are hoping that this is a really positive first step towards lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula.